Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Donovan. I'm a first year general surgery resident. Uh, this past weekend I've been on call and so uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit what I bring in my on call bag, in my backpack. Actually, I bring a lot of these things um, on the daily and I have a lot of things that I love to use and I consider my essentials. So I just kind of wanted to go through that. Uh, not in really particular order, but I'm just gonna um, unpack my bag here and show you guys what I bring every day. So this bag is uh, Vanguard. I actually got it because it's a a kind of hybrid um, backpack for uh, cameras uh, in case I wanted to bring my camera somewhere but I didn't want to commit to a full kind of professional uh, backpack for cameras because I don't have that much gear anyway so the, the only thing about it is that the main pocket um, here actually opens up on the bottom as well it accesses the same area and that's to leave room um, for a little camera bag that's removable that comes with it and that you can just put into uh, the main bag here and then leave some stuff at the top but if I don't want to use it just for every day I take out this bag and it becomes just a regular backpack with uh, access down here so I thought it was pretty cool and it looks pretty sweet too so the first thing in my bag is in the laptop sleeve and it's actually a new thing that I bought it's an iPad Pro it's the 11 inch model with the keyboard and the Apple Pencil I won't go too much into what's on there, what I use it for. Um, I kind of use it to study a little or uh, look up things uh, when I'm at the hospital. Um, but I really find it uh, really, really useful. It is quite expensive, I agree. But the amount I've used it in the past two weeks that I've gotten it has been uh, worth it already in my opinion. And the pencil works great just to use it with the iPad, not even necessarily to draw. I've done a few sketches, uh, I'll show them right here. This is a, a sketch of myself that I did quickly on uh, Adobe Draw with the pencil, which has been a, an amazing experience. And I also have this little silicone sleeve that I found on Amazon uh, that helps just with a little grip and uh, to protect it in case it, I drop it a little. Next here I have just a water bottle because uh, if I don't bring a water bottle, I will literally forget to drink all day. Really not good, especially on call. I'll realize that it's been like 12 hours that I haven't had a single cup of water. So I always try to stay ahead of hydration and drink a lot of water. Of course, with the iPad, the battery is great, so I never actually have to charge it. But if I do, I bring a USB-C charger, which also acts as a charger for my phone, which is really, really convenient, I find, uh, to only have to bring one single charger. And here I have, obviously, a pair of scrubs. In my previous videos, I've said that I don't generally like wearing scrubs uh, kind of from home to the hospital. I just think it's a bit dirty, and in case I have to go anywhere before or after the hospital, I just don't like having to wear scrubs. And so I bring a pair of scrubs and I change in the hospital. Um, here there's a little uh, fanny pack uh, that I actually don't wear as a fanny pack. In here I put everything that I carry um, on the daily so I'll stuff my pockets with these things because I wear a little uh, fleece and uh, in my scrub pockets too I'll just fill it up with the things I use on the daily so we'll just go through this. So first thing is just my ID with a lanyard that I carry around. Super important obviously to get access to the hospital and everything. So this was me on the first day there. I Yes, I purposely wore a uh, tie just so that I could look good for this photo there, even if it's super low resolution. Of course, I also have my pager with this little plastic cover to clip onto your scrubs. And uh, this here little clip, um, when I get a page, if I don't have time to answer it, I'll just take it out of the sleeve and let it uh, dangle from my scrubs. And so that kind of gives me a reminder that I have to return a page because if I just leave it and I silence the alarm, I will literally not answer the page. And so there's a bunch of different alarms which are all equally annoying and meant to wake you up, but uh, everyone chooses the same one because they don't want to change it. In here I also carry a uh, pair of headphones actually with me. Um, these are the Bose uh, SoundSport uh, wired ones. The battery's pretty good on them. They will charge with mini USB. Uh, I can take wireless phone calls from this, but mostly I use them when I'm on call and I'm kind of just at the computer or doing something. It's nice to have just a tiny bit of music when I'm doing some work. It really helps in the middle of the night when you're not doing anything or when I'm updating the list or doing something that doesn't really require any of my um, kind of attention or someone calling out to me. I'll just listen to a bit of music or when I'm on my call room. I find listening to one or two songs um, here in there it really does help through the night. I have these earphones but I also carry this little thing here. This is a Bluetooth headset and it's literally so I can make phone calls and uh, I can write at the same time. I can use my phone to call into the hospital and receive pages and all that. Um, I don't use it all the time because I know how stupid this looks and I know how if I'm talking to myself a lot of times it's not cool but it is so convenient. Sometimes I have to call the uh, surgeons to review consults which takes a few minutes or when the ER is speaking to me for uh, new things um, it does take a few minutes and honestly not having to hold your phone, having your hands free is amazing, but 
I know that I get made fun of this a lot and I don't use it because of that. But if I'm in a quiet area, no one's looking, I will use this because it is just super convenient. And also it just fits in my pocket. I carry it all the time. Okay, another thing I get made fun of all the time is that I have this little stamp that has my name and my pager number on it. Again, it's a super nerdy, but uh, because we still use a lot of uh, handwritten notes, uh, I do want to stamp my name. A lot of times people will just kind of squiggle their name, sign, and it's not very legible. I just think uh, I want it to be kind of legible. Yes, you can just spend an extra minute to um, write your name clearly, but honestly, a lot of this is just because it's 10 times more fun to use it. Um, and when I sign something, it's just really uh, satisfying to put a stamp on it. But yes, I get made fun of this all the time as well. I don't really care, it's really cool. And so because we use a lot of paper still, I do have some pens. Uh, I have a highlighter that I use to highlight some things that need to be done and just uh, highlighted. Um, and I have two of my favorite pens. I do some calligraphy, so I really like handwriting and I like uh, having some comfort in using pens. So these pens have, are not expensive, but I find that they work really, really well. First one here is a uh, Dr. Grip by Pilot. It's about 10 bucks, but honestly, it's probably the best ballpoint pen that you can have. It does write a bit thick, but I use it all the time, I have refills for it, and it's just so comfortable. When I need to write a little bit smaller on a uh, smaller space, like on the patient list, or adding just some small little data that doesn't need to be uh, emphasized too much, I use a uh, Muji pen. This is the 0.5 that is clickable. And so if you know Muji pens, uh, I mean, a lot of people here use them because they're just comfortable, they write really well, and the ink does go down really fast. As your day goes by, you do see the ink kind of go down almost, but uh, it's, a, it's a favorite among a lot of people, and I do use it quite a bit. All right, so that's the stuff that I stuff in my pockets. And I also have, oh, actually I do carry my pockets too, or in my bag here, I carry some scrub caps. Um, they're just more comfortable. And uh, this is probably my favorite one. It's like Dino Camo. And I really love these scrub caps because they're really comfortable. I love wearing hats, I love wearing uh, toques. Um, and so they're really comfortable. Part of it is also just that it's really warm and in the hospital when you're on call and all that, it just it just adds a bit to uh, the outfit to, to make you a bit more warm. Uh, and so I wear it a lot and it's quite comfortable. And I have a few different ones from uh, different shops. This one's like some psychedelic lizard looking stuff. And next in my bag is a sleeping mask. Um, that I've showed in previous videos. This one's really comfortable because it has those uh, little, it's more cupped. And so in the call room, it really does make a big difference when it's pitch black because of this. And so I sleep better when I actually get some sleep. I have a little pocket here for just extra batteries for my pager in case it dies for some reason or if someone else needs a battery, I think that's just important. Another thing I carry around is this little ball here. Um, it's a tiny um, kind of massage ball. I really, really like it because when you're on call and you're walking around a lot, just taking your shoes off and running this under your uh, feet just for a minute, it feels amazing. It's kind of like those head scratcher things. It's like that um, ASMR feeling down your spine. This also kind of uh, does that and it just completely relaxes your feet uh, and they don't feel stiff. Next is not really interesting. It's just a bag of, uh, it's just a bag of toiletries with uh, my toothbrush, some lip balm and, um, some other random things, uh, not really that interesting, honestly. And next here is a pair of glasses that I wear for surgery. So, um, I mean, I can wear these ones, these are, these are totally fine. Um, but uh, these ones that I got here, I really, really like because they're actually really light. So these ones I got online, they are they say they're made of titanium and they're really um, thin and they're almost like paper clips and they say the frame weighs about five grams It really does feel like I'm not even wearing glasses And so when you're in the operating room for long hours Even the small amount of weight can weigh down on your nose can make things slide and just become uncomfortable But these are incredibly comfortable. So uh, I usually tend to wear these in the operating room And obviously I have a cleaning cloth that I bring with me all the time just to clean them because I'm obsessed with it and one last pocket here where where I have a, a Tic Tac box with a bunch of just um, kind of over-the-counter meds like Tylenol, Advil, and caffeine, and Gravol in case before the operating room taking um, Advil or Tylenol really does help with uh, muscle soreness. So uh, I tend to take one of those. The last thing I have with me is really, really cool. I just happen to have it with me. It's not that useful, but it is a, it's a headlight. And what's cool about this headlight is that it's really portable. It's meant to fit on loops there, so it actually, um, this one's designed to fit on my glasses and it goes onto my glasses that I wear in the operating room. 
And so you see, I kind of just hook them on like that easily and I don't need loops, uh, but these can fit on loops, I think, and these are meant to, to go for loops, but uh, I wear them like this. And the battery pack as well is just really cool um, because the, oh, the headlights you see in the operating room for surgery, they're gonna be much bigger, they're tethered into this big box, but this one I can wear under and uh, I just put it on my scrubs and actually, actually turn it on um, through my uh, gown, sterilely. And this just helps a tiny bit uh, with uh, sometimes when things are a little bit um, deep down and sometimes when you're operating in the pelvis, you don't see really well, uh, I'll use this, but it's not like something super, super useful. So you can see, it's, you can't really see, but it's quite bright. And for the amount of weight it puts on, it, it I, I don't even feel it, especially with these glasses. And also when I'm on the ward, uh, or something and I need to just, you know, suture something um, on a patient that doesn't, isn't going to the operating room. Sometimes I'll use, I'll use it. I'm not going to say it's the most useful thing in the world and people can do well without it, but it's kind of just a cool accessory that uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have in my bag all the time, but sometimes I'll just uh, bring down when I need it. Um, and it's been useful when I needed it. And so I know this is a lot of stuff, but a lot of these things I do use on a daily basis or are there are things that uh, I use just in case and I really appreciate having in my bag. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments below and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna try to make more content kind of like this or let me know what you'd like to see. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.